What's going on, fellas? Today, I am, well, I was sitting here thinking, contemplating, as I donated five bucks to say this sussy-ass shit on Putter's stream, I was thinking, what kind of video could I make today? Huh? What kind of video could I make? And it occurred to me, I should probably compliment my favorite and least favorite updates. Why does that occur to me when I'm watching a stream and chilling? I don't know, but it did. So, let's get started. I have to say something nice about my least favorite GTA Online updates, but to balance it out, I'm also going to be saying something not nice about the updates that I do like. So, starting us off with number one, my most hated, well actually no, it's not my most hated anymore, but it was, Los Santos Drug Wars. The reason I dislike it is the missions suck, um, the writing is horrendous, like worst writing. I've heard better writing in a Roblox game. What is going on? Kids role-playing a Roblox scenario was better than any writing Rockstar could muster up with this update. And like, one of the characters, one of the biggest characters on that art right there, the cover art, they aren't even in the fucking game. Why couldn't that be the chimichanga looking chick? Or, or the rat guy? Or, I don't even fucking know. Who is that? Why are they there? Are they just to show off their big titties or something? Why are they here? I think this is where they started doing the drip feed shit, so the drip feed was horrendous too, I'm pretty sure. At least that's what I remember. Drip feed, awful. Um, there was hardly any new content. I had to put two bullet points just to prove that point. I don't think, I think there's actually a decent amount of content, but I need to hate on this thing, okay? I need to prove my point. I remember waking up at 4 o'clock to start the update, and then I fell asleep again, of course. And then I woke up again at like 6, because I had to get ready for school now. I fired up the update, forget getting ready to school, fired up the update. Went over to Ron and was immediately disappointed by the first cutscene. I mean, well, it wasn't super disappointing right away, but then uh, I don't think I even played the first mission, actually. I think I just ran out of time. I was like, nah, fuck this. So when I got back home, I played it, and I was like, it got progressively worse and worse. So yeah, this update really sucks, but I guess the thing I like most about it, maybe were the Breaking Bad references. I don't even watch that show. Never watched, well actually, I watched like three episodes. But over, other than that, I've never watched the show. And I think I enjoy the references just because they were cool. We we got, oh, oh, and I guess for those nerds out there, we got the Acid Lab so you can do those missions. I guess those are the only two things that I could like about the update. Everything else sucked, there was hardly anything new. The winter update sucked. The drip sucked. Like, there's nothing good. I didn't like it. So, yeah. That's my take. I mean, I guess the winter update was better than most winter updates before that. So, whatever. I didn't like it. Pretty much the same winter update. Pretty much everything sucked. Next up is bikers. The reason I dislike this, it's boring across the map missions. The main focus isn't even good for making money. And the bikes suck. There was nothing... Yeah, I, I played this when I first started out in GT Online, which was like in 2020. Um, that's not when the update released, of course, but I still did the biker stuff. And it was really boring. Like, even the setup missions or uh, getting the supplies were super fucking boring. Didn't like it. I think just all around terrible. Uh, <sighs> no, that's my, that's, my, that's my perfect take right there. I just don't like it. These missions... The mission sucked. Everything sucked. I think the only cool part were the clubhouses. You could do stuff in the clubhouses and just hang out in the clubhouses. I think the property was my favorite part of the update. And I guess the meth labs. Uh, or I guess the just the properties in general were cool. But everything else, gameplays, all the stuff like that, sucked. So, yeah, I guess the properties were cool. That's, that's my uh, compliment for the bikers update. The properties were cool. Your warehouses were cool. That's kind of it. <laughs> Only thing I guess I could like about it. Next up, everyone's least favorite update. The Los Santos Mercenaries. They removed basically half the vehicles. The name for the update sucks. The mission sucks. And the characters introduced sucked. Um, I don't really have anything nice I could say about this update. This update was just all around trash. But what are they releasing this update? Can I? Oh, we got the Raiju. That's something I could use to compliment it. The only thing I liked about this update was that it released 
the Raichu. But other than that, everything sucked, okay? I'm not changing my I'm not changing my opinion. Everything sucks about this update. Moving on. This is technically the first update I was around for. The Los Santos Summer Special. Summer of 2020. Um it had nothing. I think they added like three cars. Um a strap on, a lubricant, and some yacht missions. That's all we got. It was so booty ass. I remember thinking this update was going to be good. And the worst part about it was that this released at the end of the summer. I was basically getting ready to go school shopping when this shit released. So, nah, didn't like it. It was trash. This update sucks. I guess the only thing I could say that was nice about it is the artwork. <laughs> that's the only thing I could say that I like about it. It was the artwork. I, uh, yeah, that's all I could say. It's just a really good looking artwork. That's about all I have to say about this update. This update... Other than that, it's trash. Even the trailer for it sucked. How do you fuck up a trailer? Especially when you're a rock star. Uh, anyways. Moving on to the second half of the video. The, the updates that I like. Um, so, for starting off with After Hours. This one might be controversial, but I'll get to the part where I'm critiquing it. Okay. The things I like about it. The story missions, or I guess the setup missions, are technically story missions. Uh, the writing was pretty alright. Um... It released some cool vehicles, not the Oppressor Mark II. It released some cool vehicles, you know, you had that bus thing. Uh, you got some GTA 4 vehicles back. Yeah, all around decent missions, alright? Yeah, uh, and easier to grind and stuff. I didn't put that down because I didn't really think about it. I don't grind this game. You also got the Terabyte, which is pretty fucking cool. And you could start up missions out of that too. The only thing I dislike about this update... Which, honestly, I don't even know if it counts because I actually don't mind it anymore. The Oppressor. The Oppressor sucks. Everyone knows that. It's only good for grinding. But I honestly don't hate it, okay? Maybe maybe I don't hate that thing anymore. But just for the purpose of the video, I'm going to say I dislike it. Because it's honestly just really fucking annoying to deal with. And it makes no sense in a realistic-ish game. Why? Why is it in here? I can understand the Oppressor Mark 1, but the Mark 2... We really need a flying, not even a bike, huh? Uh, trash. Next up, the only update I want to admit I was around for, uh, at least the first one I was around for, is the Cape Rico update. The reason I like it is it has a perfect heist. You could do it alone. It's on an island. Really, just a perfect update. Really perfect heist, anyway. Um, the setups aren't a pain in the dick. Unlike uh, the uh, what was it, the Diamond Casino heist? The Diamond Casino heist had some pretty shit setups, but honestly, it wasn't that bad. Uh, the new Kasatka is actually worth the price. That was actually worth it. Um, first time property has actually been worth that amount. And actually did good. I think uh, it's actually worth like 9 million. But uh, at the base is 2 million. And you can start up a high side of that. So honestly, kind of uh, cancels out. I think it's worth it. Uh, just don't get that fucking sonar shit. Um, and it was also my first launch. First update experience in GTA. Um... I guess the thing I disliked most about this update were the vehicles that were released. I think, actually, I don't know. The vehicles were alright. It actually released its radar too. Um, what could I say I dislike about this update? I don't really know. Um, I guess there was no drip feed. I guess is the thing I disliked about this update. At least the drip feed was pretty fucking boring. They released no missions or anything in between this launch and the next launch, which I'm pretty sure the next launch was the Los Santos Tuners. So there was no drip feed or anything in between that. I can't believe I'm saying that I... At least not good drip feed. It released vehicles and shit, but no missions. Uh, no um, events, I guess. No, no, nothing big happened in between December and the next June or July that the Tuners released. I guess that's the thing I just like most about it. So GTA Online felt really dry for six months. Maybe seven months. I'm not sure. Next up, we have the Chop, sh chop Shop. I almost stuttered. Um, the reasons I like it is because it was coming off the GTA 6 hype. Admittedly, that's probably the reason I like it. Um, at least one of the reasons I like it. It reintroduced Yusuf. If you haven't put the Battle Gate, Tony, what are you doing, bro? Especially, like, nowadays. Like, come on, bro. If you play GTA Online and like Yusuf, go play the Battle Gate, Tony. You'll love him in that game. He was way more unhinged in that game. Um, the missions and mini heists were pretty enjoyable, too, I think. They were pretty enjoyable and worth it, to be honest. I don't know why I put multiple bullet points just to prove that point, but okay, guess what? Who gives a fuck? 
the yeah the, just the missions were enjoyable uh i wish it was yusuf walking us through them and not the random guy that's introduced as his cousin and has the worst fucking outfit in the game but still it, he actually isn't that bad he isn't that unenjoyable he's just like he wouldn't be an actual criminal come on he's not an actual criminal come on um and i guess the following winter update which technically counts as this update because it's within like the same month it was added in the patch who gives a it, it's part of the update um it was the best one that we had and i don't know if this year is gonna top it probably i think they're gonna add way more but i think the winter update in 2023 was peak it was really good they introduced a whole bunch of missions uh and events in the game so i think hopefully they up themselves this year i'm kind of looking forward to the winter update and yeah, uh, I guess the thing I disliked most about it was that Yusuf only got like two cutscenes. Like, one cutscene, maybe. Maybe two? I don't remember. He had one or two cutscenes, and that was it. I wish he appeared more. Uh, yeah, that's the thing I disliked most. Uh, Yusuf didn't appear that much. If he appeared more, I would have liked it a bit more. Because, you know, and if he was the one walking us through it, that would have been perfect. Just We need Yusuf walking us through it like it was GTA 4. Um, but moving on to my last update that I have on this list, and some people might agree, some people might disagree, it is the contract. The contract is a very good update. It brought Franklin Lamar back. Uh, it added some map updates with, you know, Franklin's glitched out couch in his living room. Franklin has kids. He got back with Tanisha for some fucking reason. Um, she's a hoe. He was, he was chasing her even when she was getting fucking married. Like, I don't like Tanisha. I wish that wasn't the character he got married to. Tanisha was actually the most dog shit character. If you've read her Life Invader page in GTA 5, she was deliberately trying to piss off Frank. Like, come on! How could he How could he get back with her after all that shit in GTA 5? I didn't like that part, so I guess that's the part I dislike about it. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, I introduced Imani Tech. Imani Tech was really good. Uh, it introduced a whole bunch of cars. I don't think all the Imani Tech cars were released in the same update. I think it was drip fed a little bit, but I think there's also Imani cars that were released in the next updates after that. I think this was all the way back in 2021, wasn't it? 2022? Um, yeah, it released Imani Tech, and I guess it has some of the best missions in the game. You have the payphone missions, you have the Dr. Dre storyline, which, I mean, it was alright. Better than most of the stories we got in GTA Online, so I guess I could say it was god tier compared to the rest of them. I guess the only thing I dislike about it was the Dr. Dre meat writing, bro. Come on. The meat writing was the most insane I've ever encountered. I dislike that personally. Um, why wasn't it my meat getting ra- <laughs> Uh, like... Nah, just the Dr. Dre meat writing was off the charts. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that shit, bro. <laughs> I can't keep defending you, man. The, the meat writing was insane. So... Yeah, that, that's my list. Yeah, that, that's what I, I would say. Uh, my rankings are pretty accurate to what most people would say. Maybe after hours hit or miss for some people. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until next time, boys. I'll see you later. Bye bye.